Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat. All right, I've got one for you. A nuclear scientist, a college instructor, and a defense contractor walk into a television studio. All right, it's not a joke, it actually just happened. This is Pasha Radenko, and he is with Tribotex. It's something you're gonna love. Tell us what it is. So, uh, Tribotex, it's a result of my uh, PhD work at Washington State University that, based on nanotechnology, and we call it dumbest possible artificial intelligence. Let me break it down for you. If you would say in the future had a nanobot and you would tell that nanobot to go swim in the engine and fix, let's say, play in the bearing, what the nanobot would do? It would grab a small amount of material, swim into the engine, attach it to the surface, swim back and repeat, right? We did exactly just that, but with as little of intelligence as possible. Let me explain how it is. So we made flat nanoparticles that have chemically and functionally different side. One side is sticky and another is slippery. So when the nanoparticles attach to the surface, they only attach by sticky side and expose slippery side. So sticky side reinforces the surface and strengthen it, and slippery side protect it from the future damage. And interestingly enough, when many of those particles attach particle by particle, they're going to attach in random pattern, forming porous structure. And that porous structure is thick enough to compensate for the wear that was accumulated for decades of the function of the mechanism. So we use that technology and simplified it for the everyday consumer to be used in engines, gearboxes, power steering pumps, rear differentials, front differentials, all kinds of the mechanisms that are lubricated by regular lubricants that over time wear out that need some attention. That is, that is what we brought. Now when you set out to do this, you weren't setting out to research engines and that sort of thing. How did you discover this technology? We, we went into a completely different thing. We started from the uh, hip implants and then we learned that industrial applications would be really good, wind turbines, uh, space applications. Essentially, uh, NASA just recently put wonderful article about us in the spin-off magazine. And we thought for the long time that this technology is going to be just too expensive for the regular consumer to really use it. You know, nanomaterial is expensive to make. The, uh, you need substantial quantity to really show the difference. So we went and asked several government agencies, would you be interested in us bringing this uh, technology to the market? And uh, National Science Foundation funded us to build the production capacity. And after that, you know, we had a lot of material, but we didn't have customers. So we decided how we're gonna bring it to the market. We put it on Kickstarter, then on Indiegogo, blow out our uh, initial goals, and then Amazon, eBay, now we bring it to uh, retailers. So we just, we just happy with the results. All right, so the Air Force uses Tribotex, and big industry uses this. What can Tribotex do for me on my little car at home? Every car over time wears out and spherical bearings become elliptical at times. So you get little play and you hear it as an extra noise. So when this noise happens, the more particles can deliver it into that little gap and they build the layer particle by particle so your bearings effectively shrink. So you rebuild engine without disassembly, just with the syringe of Tribotex. That's one part of it. But that coating is not just thick and protective. It is also more lubricious than the material was before. So the bearing become more efficient. That reduces heat and reduces a little bit fuel consumption. Overall, those benefits are very useful for everyone who can keep their car longer and retain efficiency over long term. How quickly am I going to notice the results once I put traffic That's a in? very good question. 
The first uh, difference in noise you will hear about 15 minutes in and we want you to wait for those 15 minutes so the material get dispersed uh, over, over time pretty well. But the real benefits happens when the cylinders and rings get coated. And this is just slow splash lubrication within the motor, so it takes longer. It takes about 10 motor hours and we call it about 500 miles. So when those got coated, then you start like, realizing benefits of better fuel consumption and uh, lower heat rejection into uh, coolant. So the temperature of engine goes down again by a little bit. Well, if you want to see more, you can check them out on their website at tribotex.com. Pasha, we thank you for being here. We thank you for joining us from your living room. This has been Motorhead Garage presented by Top Coat. We're going to do it again next week. In the meantime, if you know of something you'd like to see on the show, be sure to email Jeff at masterstv.com. So until next time, from our entire crew here, we will see you later.